How to respond when a woman ignores you, my friend. In today's video, we're going to delve into the psychology of that girl you're interested in, but who has been ignoring you. We'll explore her mindset and I'll guide you step by step on how to turn the tables and get her to start pursuing you. There are two primary reasons why a woman might ignore you. She's either testing you or she views you as some, someone with limited options. Here's how it usually goes. You saw her, you liked her, and then you showered her with too much attention, making her feel like she's the only girl in the world for you. This behavior signals to her that you don't see much value in yourself and that your biggest dream is to be noticed by her. I think you understand what I'm getting at. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This support helps keep the channel running and motivates me to bring more quality content to you all. Plus, it helps the algorithm recognize the value of this video, spreading it to more people who could benefit from this information. So can I count on your like? Now, let's get straight to the point. How do you know why she's ignoring you? Spoiler alert, it's likely the second reason. That's because the ignore test typically happens only when a woman is genuinely interested in you. So if this girl who's been ignoring you is someone you've already gone out with or shown some interest, it could just be a test. However, if she's never shown interest or doesn't seem to care, you're probably dealing with the second case. I'll discuss the ignore test more in a future video, but for today, let's focus on the girl who's not interested and is ignoring you. I'll share a technique that'll make her start chasing after you. Remember, the reason she's ignoring you is that she feels you don't have many options and it seems like you're chasing after her because she's the only girl you like. Don't worry, this isn't one of those videos telling you to go out with a bunch of girls to create the illusion that you have options. Trust me, the game is much simpler than that. I remember when I realized this issue myself, I asked, how do I fix this problem? It wasn't a mistake I was making, it was just my reality. No girls were interested in me and that wasn't an easy problem to solve. I thought hard about it and said to myself, if a girl likes a guy with many options and I don't have any, the only thing I can do is lie. That was one of the biggest mistakes of my love life. When I talked to girls, I would start making up stories about imaginary girls I'd supposedly been with I'd talk about women that didn't exist just to make her think I had options, but the results were the exact opposite of what I hoped for. So let me give you some advice. Please don't make the same mistake I did. This approach only leads to two outcomes. Either the girl realizes you're lying and trust me, she'll figure it out quickly. Lying is a huge turnoff because it shows her you're willing to do anything to gain her approval. Or she'll understand that you're trying to fake having options, which means you're seeking her validation. If you've been following my series on how to attract women, you know this is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Whether you're lying outright or implying you have lots of options, it only makes things worse. So how do you make her believe you have options without lying, especially if you really don't? When I began learning about how to attract women, I realize that they don't actually care if you have many options. What matters to them is how you interact with them. If you treat her in a way that suggests you have other options, she'll assume that you do. The best way to achieve this is through a technique I like to call the qualification technique. Now, I want you to sit down, focus and listen closely to every word I say. Qualifying means filtering and selecting something and it's something you'd only do if you truly had plenty of options. So when you qualify a girl, you automatically communicate that you have other options because only guys with choices would do that. This is one of my favorite techniques because it's incredibly powerful and often overlooked by others. It's also the best way to solidify a girl's attraction to you, taking things beyond casual conversation or flirting which can fade at any time into something deeper where she thinks, I really like this guy and want to get to know him more. Remember the mantra, be the chooser, not the chaser. Qualifying is how you make her feel like she's winning you over amidst other options. 
not for her looks, but for who she is as a person. It's crucial that she feels she's earning you, not just being pursued by you. For that to happen, she needs to know you like her for reasons beyond appearance. If you don't qualify her in some way, she'll think you're just after any girl and would say anything to get her attention. But when you qualify her, she'll believe you're selective, that you have other options, and that you chose her for a specific reason. That's how you make her feel special, showing her she's winning you over for who she is, not just for her looks. Here are three of the best ways to do that. Qualification question. Ask her a question that prompts her to share some of her qualities, then acknowledge them. For example, you know, I, I've met a lot of people today, but for some reason, I'm really drawn to you. I feel super comfortable talking to you, and I'm not sure why. What would you say is your best quality if you had to choose one? Imagine asking her this question. She'll think about how she can impress you, then she'll start talking about herself, hoping you'll like her for those reasons. When she shares, say something like, wow, that's really cool. I like that about you. She'll feel more special in your eyes, not just a random girl, but someone you're genuinely interested in getting to know. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Make a statement that recognizes a certain quality you noticed in her. When she accepts your statement as true, she'll feel good about herself and start acting more consistently with that quality around you. For example, you know, there are a lot of interesting girls here, but I'm really enjoying talking to you. I'm not sure if anyone's ever told you this, but you seem like a really open person, which is refreshing. A lot of people are so closed off when meeting someone for the first time. I appreciate that about you. Would you say that's true? End the statement with a question inviting her to agree. Once she says, yeah, I think I am pretty open, she'll start acting even more open around you. The key here is to make a genuine statement, something that makes her feel good about agreeing and understood by you. Recognize when she qualifies herself. Many times a girl will naturally try to qualify herself to you and all you need to do is notice and acknowledge it. For example, she might brag about something she's done or show direct interest in you, like touching your arm, leaning in closer or expressing curiosity about your life. When you notice these signals that she's trying to win your approval, show appreciation. Say something like, I like that about you or put your arm around her, showing that you recognize her effort and that she's gaining your attention. If you don't acknowledge it, she might feel like she took a risk and got rejected, which could make her pull back and act more distant. But by showing that you value her effort, she'll feel good and continue investing in you. These simple qualification techniques help you build a deeper, more meaningful connection. Rather than seeming like you're just chasing after her, you're making her feel unique and special. Plus, when you show a girl you're interested in who she really is, not just her looks, you stand out from other guys who are mostly focused on appearance. Remember, the key is to be authentic. When you genuinely appreciate someone's qualities and show real interest, she'll feel more comfortable and open up to you in a way that wouldn't happen with just anyone. I hope this video helped, my friend. And if you want to hear more advice, be sure to become a member of this channel for exclusive content. Comment on this video with the phrase, I am the best version of myself for women. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like button and subscribing. This helps me keep creating more content for you. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment box. Express yourselves freely and remember to keep a positive attitude. Until next time.